Hi, I'm Mark Sakamoto. I'm the Executive Vice President of Think Research. I chair the Ontario Media Development Corporation Board. I'm an author. My book, Forgiveness, a gift for my grandparents, just won Canada Reads. As most kids applying for law school, apply widely, broadly. Dalhousie was really the, the school that I, I wanted to go to. Getting a legal education, I'm so glad I did, and it was a wonderful three years. Right after law school, uh, I summered uh, at Heenan Blakey. There's a, a tiny group within the CBC that, that really drive uh, all of the deal making within uh, CBC English Television. And so I joined that group. And so I look back really, really fondly on my time at the CBC. So this guy called Michael Ignatieff started to uh, kick the tires in Canadian politics. He was teaching at Harvard. And uh, a couple of uh, friends of mine uh, went down to Harvard to, to meet him. Really appreciating the importance of the Charter of Rights was critical. I appreciated that the first time I read it as a young kid, and, and I did so in large part because of the trauma that my Sakamoto family experienced during the Second World War. If the Charter was in place during the Second World War, my grandparents would not have been ethnically cleansed uh, and moved 100 miles out of, uh, out of Vancouver for no reason outside of their ethnicity. It wouldn't have happened. The court would have had to overrule it. I got Jeannie Becker, which was an awesome stroke of luck. Jeannie is a child of Holocaust survivors, so um, a lot of my book talks about the Second World War. And while it's a very different story, there are similarities. So she really emotionally connected with my family's story. I think that she felt in many ways not unlike me and that you're sort of standing on the shoulders of these giants that were able to overcome just horrific experiences, um, but, but refuse to dwell in those horrific experiences because if they did, they knew that, you know, the life of Jeannie or the life of my parents or, and me would be arrested. And, and you, can be, you can be shackled to trauma uh, for generations.